Hello guys, it's Modest Major, and there comes a time in uh, every gamer's life where he must admit that he was wrong. Um, I came out of 4v4 thinking, that's kind of cringe, if I'm honest, in some ways. And I, it was a toss-up. It was sometimes, oh, you know, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling a bit of that Halo spark, I'm feeling a bit of that juice, and I'm watching some Reddit clips and getting amped up about, like, certain aspects of the game, and there's a lot going for it in the equipment, but, like, when I was being positive, I kind of felt like I was making excuses to myself, I was a bit like, this is great and all, and there's something to be enjoyed here, I can tell there is, because sometimes I've captured that feeling, but it's almost like lightning in a bottle, it comes and it goes and it comes and it goes, and the second I jump onto BTB, I'm just having the time of my life, I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's the map, I don't know if it's the, see the funniest thing is, I actually changed my internet, um, and you can see these two sick snipes off the bat, like come on bro. Uh, unfortunately, you're not going to see any more six snipes. You're actually going to see me choke several times uh, after that point, but at least relish that moment whilst it comes. Um, you know, I kind of I went into it and I thought, well, you know, it is great. Um, I killed the two standstills there, expert marksmanship uh, to the max. Uh, you know, just lining them up, knocking them down like bowling pins. Um, but you know, I go into it and I'm like, you know, it's BTB. I'll, I'll go open mind. And I'm just loving it. Like, literally off the bat, I think the map looks beautiful. I was already on board with this map uh, the second I saw it initially. I was like, I just, I want to play that. It was the first map I saw. I didn't see any of the other maps in preview. You know, Live Fire I saw and I thought, oh, that kind of looks like a balanced Halo map. You know, maybe that's going to work quite well in practice. But I wasn't, like, clambering for it, um, you know, Halo 5 Guardian style. I was just, uh, you know, I was, I was into it. I was like, this, this could be fun. But this map, I saw and I was like, this looks like classic Halo. And I didn't know about these underground forerunner areas. Uh, the structures that look like something like Port Out of Combat Evolved campaign. Where you go through all the interiors uh, in that game. And you've got like the hunters right at the, the heart of those uh, buildings. Um, and I had a couple of fights in there on this beta so far. Which have just felt absolutely sick. It kind of reminds me of um, Sidewinder or... Uh, more importantly, the Halo 3 Sidewinder variant, which I can't remember the name of it right now. Um, but where you, put, you you fight in those interior snow base areas. Um, and I always love that about, like, I feel like a good BTB map should have, like, a pacing where it kind of feels like you go on an adventure in the course of a BTB game. Um, where, like, one part of the game you're starting out and you're, like, fighting in some rocks and you're having some, like, epic forest hill chase and, you know, you want to pin down your opponent but then all of a sudden you found yourself in a base and now you've got a shotgun and you got to, like, you're, you're getting swarmed from either end and all of a sudden you're on a hill with a sniper and it feels like there's this, like, adventure and this progression throughout a BTB game. I feel like that's what's exciting for me personally about a BTB where it feels like, uh, you know, I couldn't even tell you what happened the previous 10 minutes of this game i couldn't even tell you because there's so much that was packed in so many experiences and so many moments and so many vehicle interactions and halo infinite got this bang on like it just feels bang on i was like dude I, I i you know i wasn't expecting to be swept off my feet here i was expecting yeah i'm gonna make the most of this i'm gonna try and enjoy btb i've been a little bit of a grumpy crotchety old man when it comes to my 4v4 i just haven't felt it and this btb i was just like right off the bat oh my god i feel it it's amazing it's great perfect didn't feel the t uh, 24 versus 24 or uh, sorry uh was it 12 versus 12 to make 24 i didn't feel the player increase uh dramatically i think this map is probably a really good size for it as well you know it's hard to say whether or not you took classic halo feeling maps but if you ever thought about a map like coagulation or blood gulch or whatever you want to call it you know even in uh, hemorrhage in halo reach that map never felt right for eight versus eight uh, it never felt right. It was like, you know, there wasn't enough people on the map at times. So I think it makes more sense. They can go a little bit. They don't have to worry about pushing the limit of a of a BTB map or what a BTB map is. They can just kind of go a little bit more freeform with it, make it open expanses because it's just going to work with the vehicles and the amount of players and uh, everything's going to feel a little bit more seamless. Um, and I think in this particular game, actually, I played about six games, honestly, and or four, four or five games, might say, and they were all fun. They were all fun, which was uh, ridiculous. Now, to be fair, I did top every single lobby uh, in terms of kills. So, obviously, that's going to influence my opinions. Um, but at the same time, I think something else that very, very drastically uh, influenced my opinions is I'm actually playing on a different internet hub on this. Uh, I have two internets. Um, 
And I'm playing on my BT hub, which is like my business hub. And I think my BT hub started getting throttled for a while. It used to be the most godlike internet of all time. Uh, the most consistent internet. Which is so good at everything. So good for streaming, etc, etc. And I think I just, uh, after going on it for ages and ages and ages, it started getting throttled. So I left it alone for ages, went to Virgin. And Halo Infinite the entire time on that hub just felt terrible. Almost every game, it just didn't feel right. And I thought it was to do, you know, everyone was complaining about the hit detection. And how terrible the guns feel and how terrible the aim feels. And whilst I do think there is, like, you know, clearly an extent of those problems, not really sure if they've changed them for this BTB. Um, things did feel quite smooth, but, you know, whether that is a connection issue, uh, for me, you know, I I've gone, uh, I've taken a step up. But I saw people getting kills in the first Halo Infinite beta, and I was like, that is physically not possible for me. Like, I don't know what it is, um, but I just cannot kill like that. I cannot, I cannot four shot someone. I cannot like the, the 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 consistency does not feel up to it. Um, you know, maybe I'm making excuses. Maybe I'm garbage at video games. Very possible. Um, I'm not trying to rule anything out. Um, but seeing as I've switched internet hubs and I'm immediately having a dramatically uh, more enjoyable experience, and when I lose, I'm like, yeah, okay, got it. Uh, you know, I got you. You outshot me. You got me. Fair and square. Um, but this is it, man. Like this is what I wanted. This is so so what i wanted i just wanted it to feel like classic halo with a couple of updates a little bit of classic liquor paint a uh, little bit of a new liquor paint uh on the old classic framework this is what i wanted from uh my halo sequel i wanted a you know progression into modern day gaming without all the bs that comes with modern day gaming uh you know where we have to add in the mechanics that every other game has had we have to we have to catch a trend we have to chase a train uh you know what's the newest hype train oh we got a, everyone's doing battle royale it's going to be exactly like every other battle royale game you know um but with a new you know new modern twist you know some of the old stuff that we did traditionally there's a reason they work so well and they were so successful and it's not just because it was good at the time there are some stuff that you can learn from the past and you can look from the past and whilst i definitely don't don't think you should be blinkered by that and think oh my god we need to like copy and paste every single thing and we need to drag and drop and if it's not halo 3 it's not good and if it's not halo 2 it's not good i think that's madness you know i'm, I'm never gonna uh you know cycle into that thought belief into that thought pattern uh, it's just not something i aspire to um but with this game like it just takes that like it gives that halo feel um and i didn't even know if 343 were capable of it because i hadn't really felt like a bungee feeling in a halo 343 game 343 had done stuff that like to me felt amazing in its own right like uh, it, there was a lot of stuff in halo 4 like the way that the railgun operated the way that haven played on team slayer the way that the sniper and shotgun felt in those games there was a lot of stuff that they did but it never felt like bungee-esque or halo-esque or like it was completely honoring uh you know the the bones of this franchise and somehow with this map and this gameplay experience they've just managed to honor and i get a repulse there i get a repulsor on the ghost now funny fun fact i was i think i was actually trying to board them so i start holding rb or i, I hold the button and then that was that actually the button for the equipment and i fling the ghost back and then he falls off of the thing i thought that was so cool i actually meant to, i didn't actually mean to do it i'm really bad at thinking on my feet with equipment i'm one of these people who will like applaud uh you know equipment gameplay being put into the game and being like oh you know it's such a cool idea halo need to do more of it it's one of the best you know new additions um and then i am actually terrible with equipment <laughs> like, i don't think you'll be seeing many cool grapple plays or cool uh repulse plays overall until you know maybe a lot later on in the game when i get used to it maybe i'll improve but i'm definitely not someone who like comes naturally to these i've actually got quite bad spatial awareness uh so it takes me a while to wrap my head around exactly how things are going to work um but yeah, getting that really cool repulsor, um, and it kind of falls into my, yeah, this is something that happens to me in video games in general, a lot of the coolest things I seem to do in a video game feel like a complete accident, which I actually hate, I don't know if you've ever had that, where like, that moment where like, someone looks to you and goes, wow, that was sick, how did you do that, and you're like, uh, it was an accident, you almost don't want to tell them it was an accident, because it was so cool, <laughs> uh, not that it was the coolest thing, but you know, it was pretty cool to use the uh, repulsor for the first time, um, but this map, it just uh, it blends uh, interior and exterior so, so, so well. Um, I actually get this like one streak with the overheat indoors, which again, going back to the connection point, I thought the overheat could not get kills. The registration seemed so bad on it. It just seemed unforgivably terrible. Um, and then all of a sudden, I'm getting kills with this overheat, which I was never getting before, and got like a killing spree with it. Um, to me, also, like I think they've done a perfect job of like the vehicles can actually get like 
jumped on really bad because there's so many like va vantage points uh, and the way that the map is built like there's so many ways to get like height advantage over the vehicles but at the same time the height the vehicles have like a lot of pathways too and if you knew the map really well there's a lot of versatility to getting around and moving around i, I do think a, uh, uh, probably a vehicle like the banshee would absolutely destroy on this map um but in terms of the land vehicles they have a really really nice delicate balance right now of uh they feel like they can definitely do damage on the right hand but like as a player you don't feel stuck and there's a lot of escapes for you to get away and you don't feel like horribly pinned down because that is a that is a frustrating way to die to vehicles you you kind of want the vehicles to earn their kills not just funnel you into the killing machine like if a team if, if an enemy team is doing too well one of the worst feelings uh, as a gamer is like to be funneled into a killing machine of like well the enemy team has a setup they're doing too well and the vehicle can kind of remain unscathed because no one can get close enough to it and i think there's enough like flanking routes and um you know just ways of getting around and shortcuts uh that it doesn't necessarily feel like it's going to happen as much um of course these are all very very early impressions i am a little bit driven by the hype but i'm so happy to be consumed by a little bit of hype especially as the the first weekend you know i had my ups and downs uh, i'm not i'm not going to say it was terrible by any means but like it didn't really capture my spirit the same way and then all of a sudden just started playing this and had some badass games uh, that all felt super cinematic, like Michael Bay moments, um, and everything just seemed to click together in that like uh, classic Halo feeling. And I got kind of a couple of those feels that you just that you, you kind of forget exist. You're like, oh wait, I forgot I loved Halo this much. Like I knew I, I knew I loved it. I knew I used to love it. You know, I I know that it was in my heart, but like I didn't expect it to awaken like this. And then all of a sudden, I'm just like, it actually makes me devastated that this is the weekend and then we gotta wait till december you know two months that's nothing uh to the lay person but <laughs> to an adhd halo crackhead like me who's just absolutely gagging to get my hands on this game uh you know I i'm a little bit upset to uh, give this up but i'll do my best to play it the most and get as much footage for you guys uh, as possible and hopefully have a few more uh, topics to talk about but anyway i've been modest major hope you guys enjoyed this commentary thank you for watching peace out enjoy the defeat screen i didn't even know this gameplay was a 3-0 defeat it felt great bye bye <laughs>